Hi everybody, this is going to be a long video because I got a lot of stuff on my trip to uh, visit my mom in Hong Kong as, and we also took a trip to Japan and uh, we also went to Macau but I didn't buy anything in Macau because that was the end of the trip and I thought this was plenty. Um, I didn't get the Passion Planner of course um, on the trip but I do want to do a little flip through um, after I do the haul. Um, I purchased most of these but some of them were gifted to me by my mom. Most of the pens were gifted to me by my mom. She's a big pen collector. I think that's where I got my stationary obsession from. So um, I'm just going to dive in and I'm going to start with some of the paper stuff first. Uh, I got a lot of um, cat theme post-its. These were really cute page flags I found at Daiso. So they're only like a dollar something. Um, in Japan, there's this store called Tokyo Hands. I saved the bag. Um, but they have like a ton of stationery and they're like really good price. Um, especially if you're looking for Filofax inserts. I already use this, that's why it's not in a packet, but this divider was um, a dollar something. This big 200 sheets um, grid insert was only two dollars. I felt like I should have bought more. I have some clear, uh, what, are these, what are these, like inserts for to put like pictures in and stuff. I The name is facing me out right now. Sorry, and if I sound funny, I'm sorry I'm getting over a cold. This is a magnetic bookmark. Isn't that cool? Um, I don't remember how much this was, but I did buy this in Japan. It was a really, really good price. This I got from Daiso in Japan. They are little flags, and it's like, it comes in a little pouch. You can't quite see because I kept it in plastic, but um, it's super adorable. Okay, and then I got some... Um, traveler's notebook um, stuff. And I always collect the uh, the annual diary sticker set and I've started collecting the um, little writing board and I have both uh, the classic size, a regular size, and the pocket size so I've been buying them every year and these were like six dollars instead of like the 10 12 dollars that they are here so i definitely went and just bought them right away and i got the sticker set for 2019 as well um i can go and in depth um any of the stickers if you want me to just leave me a comment and i'll show you guys details of them i got this notebook this says i paint objects as i think them not as i see them i am an artist so this is kind of perfect more cat stickers some sumo wrestler stickers from Japan, that's really fun. And some cat stickers from Dai. So these are humongous, so um, it'll be really good for like the back pages of Passion Planners. And then I got this like little bear one. These are both from Daiso. Okay, and this one, this traveler's notebook my mom gave me, she bought it at a stationery expo that she goes to every year. I'm gonna try to take it out of the packet. All right, and it does come with this like pretty cover to protect it and um, it's really really beautiful um, and of course it's vegan leather it's got a beautiful skyline painted on and if you open it the inserts are very very pretty is this my travel notes the hidden city that's what the back of that insert look like. It came with a card pocket and also a zipper pocket. And it's also got a blank insert, which is perfect for me because I love to draw. Yeah, and it's got another um, photo insert and a card insert. So I think she only got, she got this for less than $10, which was a steal. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. I don't even know how many use it because I have already a journaling traveler's notebook, but Gosh, it's just so pretty. Okay, enough of that. All right, so I'll go over the pen next. I got a lot of art pens. Um, I also got a pack of drawing charcoals, which I'm not going to show here. 
um, I'll show you the pens that my mom gifted me. So this like little rainbow pen, so fun. Um, she also gave me these two gem pens that, um, this one has like the little stylus, um, thingy, but it's not from gem pens. It looks like it's like some kind of promotional pens, but it's still really pretty. Put those away. I might do a little giveaway with these, um, just because I probably won't get to use them because I love my fountain pen so much. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, so I got this in Japan. It's really, really pretty. It's got a traditional Japanese design on it. And it's like, it's covered with paper. But my favorite part is, is that it's a brush pen. And I love brush calligraphy. So this is kind of perfect. And it was really cheap. It was like $3. Okay, what's next? Um, so this looks like just any old pens, but it's actually a water brush pen. So that means um, like any painting water brush pen, it's got a, a fountain pen piston, but it's for water. So I can use this when I paint watercolor on the go, which is really cool because I've never seen it like an actual pen. I've always seen the, the plastic brush one. So this was really cool. I bought it in an art store. In the same art store, they had some mild liners for really cheap. I just got a pack, but I picked up these two colors. That's going to go really well with my color coding. Um, at the same store, I found this pen. Um, it is a brush pen. Again, you, I, haven't, I haven't started using it so you can't see the color, but it comes out as a liquid gold. So that is going to be really, really cool when I do brush calligraphy. I wish I bought the silver one, but oh well. And I got a paint, a uh, Pentel paint marker in white. That will be really fun when I do highlights. And then these two, I'm going to grab some paper. I'll show you what color these are because these are really cool. Okay, so it's not white, sorry. But this one, it's like a pastel green color and this one is a pastel purple. So these are going to be really, really fun and they are in a 0.4 and they write super smooth. So that's going to be really, really fun, my passion planner. Oh, I also got the purple color too. It's pastel purple, not like hard, actual purple. And this pen is a Pentel um, Energel Clena, C-L-E-N-A. I butcher your name, sorry. Um, and oh my gosh, I love this pen so much. I've been writing with it ever since I got it. It's a point, it's less than a point five, so I think it's like a point three. It writes so, 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 so smooth. And um, it's got a really dark color ink, which I like. I don't like the, like a light dark, like a dark gray. It's super dark, it's super smooth, and it's light, and it's thick barrel. It's good for my carpal tunnel, and the design is really, really pretty. So I really love this pen. This was only a dollar something, and I wish I brought more, but oh well. And this one, I'm really excited. I haven't taken it out of the packet because I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. I bought it at like a fancy hipster kind of store. Um, and it is a wooden barrel pencil, but it's got a lead inside that you sharpen with this little pencil sharpener. You can see it back here. So I'm really excited to use it to uh, draw and it says made in Japan using incense cider from the US. Um, it's really like old timey looking, so it's super duper cool. Anyway, um, if you want to see a review of any of the pens I have, just let me know and I will do one. All right, next, let's talk about these deco tape. So I bought it in that same art store for. $15 Hong Kong, so that's about a little under $2 each. Um, that one's cat, because I can't say no to cats. This one is like a little house, and this one is a little present. So these are super, super cheap for like deco tapes. Okay, 
washi tapes. I actually limited myself on buying washi tape because I already have so many and I know I won't use them all. So I only bought like the ones that I thought I would never see again. Um, but I couldn't say no to cats, so of course there's a cat washi. There's actually two cat washies. Um, this one is a black and white washi. I don't see a lot of this kind of black and white with like a cute old timey ad design, so I got this one. Um, I think this one was like $18 Hong Kong dollars, so it's a little over $2. This one's a little town scene. I love that it's so thick, so it's like perfect for if I want to like line the bottom part of my fashion planner. And then these two I bought at the Hong Kong airport when I was flying home. Um, and they're really cool. One is a uh, day of the week and it has um, English and Chinese. And then this one is uh, the 12 months in English and Chinese. And it's got like a traditional, not traditional, I would say like 60s Chinese illustration of like Kung Fu masters. So this one is really, really fun and I don't even know when I'm going to use it, but I'm really excited about this one. Okay, next we have these Band-Aid, um, band did I say that right? Uh, washi tape, which I've seen, but I've only seen knockoffs and I haven't seen like the actual brand. So I see them on Wish, but I know like they're copying somebody else's design. So I'm pretty sure this is where it originated from. And I love this one. This one's my favorite. It's little mushrooms. Like there's these many mushroom designs and you can make a little mushroom ring or a mushroom garden with it. So cute. And this one is um, succulents. Just as pretty. Very, very cool. Okay. All right. So that's the haul. It was a lot. Thank you for sitting through that. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the flip through of the passion planner that was gifted to me.